Good morning and hello everyone, my name is Forever2 and welcome back to Genshin Impact for part 2 of Natlin's uh, fourth act, I believe. Natlin chapter 4, I will call it that. Um, here I am sitting out inside the Ruby Inn, preparing myself for drink and all, because apparently I'm supposed to leave the Ruby Inn and join the battle. My assumption is there's a war going on out here, and we're going to have to be, have a tough battle in our hands. And... I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well because I'm not sure what am I gonna expect when I step outside. Door. Talk to Malwika and learn more about the battle situation. Which we just stepped outside. I see. I'll send reinforcements to those two locations. This other one is too dangerous. I'll handle it myself. The remaining locations are remote with no inhabitants. Let's bring our warriors back and make sure they're careful on the retreat. Understood. I'll spread the word. We're here. What's going on? Kachina said the Abyss attacked again? Yes. It's not looking good. Our forces have always been able to handle the sporadic attacks, but now... There are more monsters than ever, and the attacks are more frequent. What about the scale? What areas are they targeting? All of Natlan. Not just around the stadium, but even the remote areas of the Collective of Plenty are reporting attacks. Could this also be some kind of omen? If things continue like this, then... We won't last much longer, I know. What we are seeing now is the desperation of the Abyss. It knows we're only one hero short. I don't have the strength to fight it right now. This is its best opportunity and its final chance. You're saying we just have to hold out for as long as we can? <sighs> It'll be a long fight. Our current focus needs to be on protecting civilians and conserving manpower. There are caravans and adventurers trapped in the wild. Many of our warriors have already left to rescue them, but they'll need reinforcements. Leave that to us. We'll head out that way. All right. Sorry. Chilonen, Kachina, head to the camp near the Children of Echoes. Seat Lali, you're needed in the Masters of the Nightwind. As an important figure in the plan, Auroron will stay here. Your tribe is too far from the stadium. Understood. I'll leave right away. I've prepared a hot air balloon to take you where you're needed. Messengers from the Scions of the Canopy are traveling all around Natlan. Update them once you've completed your mission, and they'll compile the information into a battle report. As I receive intel from the various regions, I'll plan your next move. All right, no time to lose. Let's go. Okay, so we're actually attending in a war. Be careful, everyone. What about us? Where should we go? Yeah. I received word that a small team escorting civilians back to the stadium was attacked. They won't be able to hold out for long. Can I leave them to you? Of course. Thank you. The hot air balloon is over there. All right. All right, so we have a thing called outdoor rescue. All hotspots that require reinforcements are shown here. Oh. Okay, so this is what, what is this here? Uh, shipment of source of goods. So we got a new thing here. So this is fluff. I believe these are fluff texts, I believe. Something about um, additional... Additional, um, like, some additional text in here. So, yeah, temporary sanctuary, expanding manpower. Alright. Then the shipment of transport and supply suddenly came under a physical attack. So, we only have about a bunch of him of trolls, Sama troll, and a big guy. And we have three participants. And I do believe, uh, if I have read this right, in this part of the quest, we're actually in a war, meaning there's going to be casualties, meaning we need to, uh, I guess, choose which spot that needs to help the most. So I'm not sure what we're doing here, so let me see. Warriors on that land are filled with spirit and vigor. Under the influence, invading monsters have been weakened. So this is just a fixed point here. Oh, what is this though? Party setup? Mm, now I get it. Right, I think I get it now. I think 
this is the part we're in a domain now. We are in a domain that's just massive, I believe. And do I just step on here then? Hand off! Mm. Hey, this thing is pretty convenient. Yeah, but who's driving? It's not only fast, but also saves us a lot of energy. Yeah, it gives you some rest and time. Oh, hold on, abyss of corrosion. Huh? There's a meter now. Ain't that weird? Oh, I see someone there. Can they face up against that, though? Seems like chaos in the making. Good thing for those battle reports. Yeah. Uh, can they able to handle that thing, though? But then again, these are Natlins. Uh, Natlonians. So, we ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm guessing fluff texts are just, just additional information and in what's going on around the battle. The hotspots are the most important thing. I know that for sure. Ah, uh, I see something there and there. Some health. I'm guessing those are the people we need to help, then. Do not worry. Reinforcements are on Look, the way. Must be Let's go help. I can't jump down. Can I not jump down? I know they need our help. Damn it. Let me down. Reinforcements. Thank goodness. Alright, let's take care of these summer trollers. Right, let's take care of the these little ones. Come here. There we go. Yeah, we saved our first cash. Thank you for coming. We were almost at the breaking point. Oh, there were just too many monsters. They just kept coming wave after wave. I've never seen it this bad. At least we got here in time. You all should get going. I know, but it's not that easy. A lot of people were hurt in the battle just now. Really? Our cart was also attacked, and now our supplies are scattered everywhere. That's not important right now. We need to focus on getting out of here alive. I know, but these were medical supplies. What if they need them back at the stadium? It's them! Over here! Oh, look, other reinforcements. I never s We came to help, but looks like you don't need it. Okay. I nice job making it through. Okay. Now, I know I have never seen those hats before. I'm guessing they're from the flower feathers? I don't know. I know that the green guys, they're from the canopy. This one's from the Collector of Plenty or somewhere else. I don't know about these three, too. Now we can head straight to the next location. What other areas need help? Here. Take a look at the latest battle report. Messengers from the Scions of the Canopy are traveling all around Natland to pass along the latest intel. If you see a messenger from the Scions of the Canopy, feel free to ask them about the latest battle situation. Thanks! Now where should we go next? Seems like you can hold your own in a fight, so let's split up. Choose where you want to go and... Uh, still looks like they could use some help here, though. These supplies are really important. What should we do? It's all right. Don't delay your rescue efforts on our account. But if we stay here too long, the monsters might come back. What do you think, Traveler? Should we stay and help? Paimon will do whatever you decide. Okay. So, like I said, choices do matter. And look at this. This is the battle report here. Abyssal activity and ley line status. Then there's active monsters. Deaths meaning our side. So, 126 casualties already and rising. Holy hell. Incidents resolved, we only dissolved resolve one. And this is pretty much the abyss of corruption here, and as well as our holding out here. Right, so we got two optionals here. Talk to Tipos and uh Uch Uterunku. Alright. Alright, so this is Tipos. Let's talk to him. Traveler, can I ask you a favor? My mother's a doctor. When she heard about the attacks in the wilderness, she rushed out to help, and I haven't heard from her since. I'm worried. She's not a fighter, and I can't leave to check on her. I want her to stay out of this. So if you see her, can you please tell her to take shelter? 
Of course. We've got this. Thank you. Oh, that makes it easier to focus on the current battle. Okay, so he's worried about his mother, who is a doctor. So we may or may not have to look out for the doctor. Because I think being a doctor is really important in a war like this one. So I need to keep an eye on that one. So Uchurunku, what do you have to say? Do you get scared? Okay, so we have a warrior that's questioning. Is he scared? Hmm. Let's see. In all honesty, yeah, it's normal to be afraid. Normal? You mean I'm not being the coward? Not at all. You're here, aren't you? Ready to fight even despite your fear. That's impressive. Oh, yeah. You're right. Thanks, you two. Okay, so main the mission in the current area is completed, whatever that means. So, okay. So we have some a soldier that is afraid, but he came here fighting despite um, him being afraid. So we need I think he needs more courage but now than ever. And then he then to post here, like I said before, needs to check on his mother. Who is a doctor? You guys be with you two? These supplies are very important. <sighs> Fine, I'll help you. Let's round them up and get packing. Alright. Then let's speak with you. If you see a messenger from the scions of the canopy, um, I, okay, I think I better check the map then. All right, let's see here. Okay, we got we got two things here. Uh, we got this is the emergency. The results will depend on whether or not you provide an immediate support. Intelligence suggests that we lost contact with a courier nearby. They are likely to have been attacked by monsters. Okay, so. Participants are oh no these Saurians okay okay same keyside guards are present around the clock to ensure who in fact can be here surrounding okay so flood text again what about you Wayna chief of the science of the canopy is recruiting new couriers to deal with increasing number then what about you uh, just a security report okay all right I cannot check them okay. Hmm, let's see. A strong a stronghold near the Scions Academy is beset by monsters on every side, and the civilians and wounded within cannot be moved. Their foes will only increase should they not receive help in time. So, dendro uh, damage increase. So, if we had any dendro uh, individuals, we could definitely use their help, but I don't think I would use it. So, right. Hmm. Okay. I'll accept that one. Okay, we're all right. Ooh. <clears throat> right here. Okay, that was my bad. Alright, let's go ahead and start. And pretty much sure you can actually see this stuff as well. Hope I chose right. So I'm guessing that's the spot here, maybe. Alright. So I'm thinking a bunch of Saurians could be care less. And I hate to say it, but Saurians either do matter or do not matter at some point. But I had a feeling that the bottom right here, the one we're heading to, they need the help the most. Hey, can each just ramp There he is! He must be busy delivering messages. At least he didn't look hurt. Nah, he's doing no. He's doing fine. Yeah, he's still going. All right. I think those. Okay, hang on. All right, let's just. This is it. Looks like a battle is in progress. Let's go help them. All right. All right. How much longer are these things gonna keep coming? We're reaching the breaking point! Hey! <laughs> Everlasting as the moon! Alright. Alright, we got rid of them. Cool. Hello. Thank you so much. You came just in time. What's going on? Were other places hit? Yeah, seems like it. The Pyro Archon told us to be ready to evacuate. She warned us something like this could happen. 
but I never thought there would be this many monsters. You got here just in time. But what should we do about the wounded? The wounded? This area was hit bad. We're housing the wounded in this house for now, but we're short on medicine. It's not easy for them to get around, either. We don't know what to do next. We're sitting ducks if we stay here, but we can't just leave them behind. Thank goodness you're here, though. You saved us all. Alright, you should move them to the scions of the canopy while you have the chance. You're right. The monsters are gone. So it should be safe for now. Some of my men can escort them. That will take time, though. And some of the wounded can't walk. They might have to stay here. Don't worry. Once we escort the first group, I'll call for reinforcements. That way, everyone can evacuate. Let's help them out here for now. Then we can head to the next area. Oh, there's a messenger over there. Don't forget, we can get the latest intel from them. Good job, Paimon. You remind me of something. And... Hang on, I see something up there, though. I see some monsters. Oh my god. Are they attacking someone? Quick, over here. Follow me. Look, someone's surrounded! Uh, okay. Don't stand around. All right, we got rid of them. Thank you. <laughs> they really came out of nowhere. Yeah, that was close. Thank you for coming all this way to help us, Doctor. Doctor? Hold on. Are you Tapos's mother? Just doing my part. Doctor? Wait, do you know Tapos? He's my son. Why? Did something happen to him? No, no, he's fine. He's just worried about you. He asked us to tell you to seek shelter. Ah, uh, I see. I know it's dangerous to be out and about like this, but I just can't sit back and do nothing. What a kind hearted woman. Hmm. How about this? I'll write to him and promise to team up with the next group of warriors I come across. I'll be safer that way. Sounds good. I'm unsure he'll be relieved you're okay. Yeah, that, that gives someone at uh, least uh, a relief, assurance. Thank you for passing along his message. I mean, reassurance. Alright, so we managed to save his mother. Mm. Alright, hang on. Hang on a second. That's Kanich right there. Uh, Gathering Beast. Uh, Kanich has also rushed to location. Okay. Oh, that's Mawika down there. Great tremors rock the area. I cannot read this because there's a, okay near the ruins. A sign, perhaps there might be giant monster lurks beneath. My weekend has already headed over there to evacuate people and resolve the crisis. <laughs> Is all right. That's uh, Mulani here. Uh, the hot springs at the people of the springs have been defiled by the abyss's power. The tribes people have organized an effort to purify the water. So, all right. Like I said, these are just uh. Fluff text to let us know things here. Mm, sounds of monster activity. And, oh, titanic shadows. The abyssal power that accumulates near the mountains has created a large numbers of monsters and massive stature. Unfortunately, the Fatui Harbinger, named the captain, has led his troops to reinforce that area, slowing their fence. Alright. Alright, that, that, that's just that's not some reassurance right there. Alright. Alright, let's speak with her for a bit and see. Still no sign of any warriors. I need to head out soon. We're running out of time. All right. So this is this is literally a, a, a heavy offensive here. So okay. So where is the messenger? Messenger, messenger, messenger. Yeah. Is there anything I need to check on? Let's listen in. No, I don't want to oh, go. No. I want to stay with you. Oh, no. Mommy can't go with you, my dear. She's hurt. So going to be okay. These nice people are going to take you to safety. Then they'll come back for me. <laughs> no! I won't go! Oh, God. It makes you forget that Hoyo does have some depressing things here. We're in a nation of war, and... yeah. What's the situation at the tribal camp? Safe for now. Although most people are out delivering intel. If the Abyss launches a large-scale attack in the meantime... Then it will fall to us to protect the tribe. What? You scared? Not a chance. They're just worried. Hey, who are you? That doctor is amazing. 
I owe her my life. I'll never forget that. Right, I think we've spoken to pe the people here, except for you, Makar, right? That was terrifying. At least we made it through. And that's all you have to say? Alright. Alright, let's speak with the messenger, or courier. Thanks for your help. I've updated the intel on this area. I'll start spreading the word. Hang in there, you two. A lot of places still need your help. And we will appreciate the assist. Okay, we got updates. Mission in the courier era has been completed. Let's check the map to see what needs to be resourced. Well, re reinforced. So, we're... Okay, a new update from the captain here. Serious landslide has occurred in the mountains, mountainous wilds. Okay, so they're just getting rid of the monsters as well. Mawika is over here. Uh, there was a collapse within, uh, deep within the mine shafts. So, more rescue efforts. So, we got two spots here. This one has Stigler Echo's forward defensive works have come under brutal assault by monsters. The Gather Warriors fight fiercely, but their foes show no sign of diminishing, diminishing in number. Then this one here says, Monsters suddenly attack the merchant route to the people of the springs in the south. They not only threaten the lives of caravan members, but they are running amok, destroying vital rescue supplies. They need to be stopped. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so I am assuming that this will get supplies, and we could probably rescue people here. Um, that goes to the valley. Okay. Hmm. What's more important, though? I'm honestly going to prioritize the doctor to give medical supplies, because most of them do need medical supplies. So, I... That's what I'm thinking. I'll, I'll stick with this. because I think it's spawning those little ones. Nope, never mind. That it? We're good? Yay. Thanks for the help. You're the captain soldiers, aren't you? Yes, per his order, we're now under the Pyro Archon's command. Not everyone understood his decision, but our lord's orders take precedence over all. Good soldiers. We're alive because of them. They saved us. Well, um, guess that means we should thank you guys. <laughs> Because we've been fighting you fools for about four years. Agreed. Where are you headed? The people of the Springs? That was the plan, but I don't know if it's safe anymore. I suggest heading to the stadium. Most of the manpower will be focused there, so it'll be safer than staying with the tribes. Once we take care of these monsters, some of our soldiers will escort you. Thank you so much. Guess a little extra help never hurts. Of course it doesn't. People from all over Natlan are heading to the stadium. That area needs to be the center of our defensive efforts. It is literally the final fortress of all things here. If your other tasks are complete, I'm sure the people there could use your aid. Thanks for the intel. Hearing those words from you also feels quite strange for me. But I can only accept the situation Because we've been fighting you fools for the past four years. It's so weird that, we're, that these guys are our enemies as well. In most of the games um, play so talk to Awina. She's an optional. Alright. I want to seek shelter as well, but 
the people of the springs need these potions. I have to get them there. All right, so we got two options. The Fatui would could escort you, but and all, honestly, I don't think I would. I wouldn't risk it. I don't risk it. You're right. It's dangerous out here. I don't even know if I'd make it. Other caravans are already there, so it should be fine. Okay, we got that done. All right, we got that done. Oh, and I actually need to get some healings real quick. Give me a moment. All right. All right, we got the map here. Do we need other locations as well? Looks like there's only one location here, but look at the corrosion level. It's like 43% here. All right, so under siege, then you are way out of bounds here. A key pass among the mountaintop stadium has been occupied by monsters. Okay. And you, uh, let's see, must gradually war is increased. I think you guys are doing fine. And Kachina is defending the home, I guess. Uh, infest most flanks of the valley. Run the general records, run the personnel, organize the operations. Right. So we got saved the doctor and we saved the supplies. And you, emergency evacuation, escorting civilians from the masters of the night wind over to the stadium. So my assumption is that. Probably on this corner here is where the masters of the nightmen will make their home somewhere. But I'm not I'm pretty sure and I'm pretty sure that the foul flower feather will be here as well. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. We go as one, team of warriors, people of spring, soaring companions, retreat. Alright. So we got done with everything, yes. I don't feel like I should talk to anyone else, but more lore. The captain was right. The situation's not looking good. Just look at the amount of people we've had to rescue. We shouldn't linger. We'll get these people back on the road, then head to our next destination. Right. I know the Fatui has their own mission here, but... Saved by the Fatui! Now that's lucky! It's unexpected. It's really unexpected. I can't speak to you, Big Bye. Right. The captain must have known the situation would get a lot more dire than expected. That would explain why he was so anxious. Yeah. I understand that. So, we only got one thing here, and that's key site defense. Evacuated civilians have gathered in the stadium by the sacred flame, but their movements have been marked by the abyssal monsters. Defenses must be shored up to ensure that those that are on the move and the civilians within the stadium remain safe. So, we got a power buff, so I'm lucky that I have a Fatui. Arbiter. Alright. Wow, there are so many people here. Looks like it really is getting too dangerous for people to stay out in the wild. Wow, okay. Oh my taking those pillars. Right, I got rid of this ticket. And you as well. Reinforcements? Oh god. Oh, it's spawning more monsters. We got a problem. Everlasting as the moon. Alright. Alright. Gotta get rid of something. Oh, we got break these pylons here. Let her rip. All right, we destroy the pylon. That should be it. Good. Woo! All right, did we lose anybody? There's Kanich. Oh, Kanich, you're back. And I, and I'm guessing this is still during the strike thing. So, yeah. Yeah, I thought I would check on the situation after finishing my delivery work. If you're here, though, I doubt I'm needed. Every person counts. We wanted to breathe her anyway. Yeah, it really feels like we're running short on people everywhere. It's so dangerous out there. Just when we think everything's under control, another thing goes off the deep end. That's war, Paimon. Never changes. Not that Paimon's complaining. It's just... What if things get even worse? In war, things will always get worse. You should know this. Ha! What a stupid question! You know the answer! You're just too afraid to face it! Like a puny bug clinging to a pipe dream! Okay, that's enough out of 
to you. I'm trying to sound this is so annoying, but that's all I can get from him. <sighs> this may be one of the few times Aha has a point. On the bright side, we can pat ourselves on the back for saving all these civilians and bringing them here. My tribe is launching a second wave of patrols soon. We'll do a scan of the whole nation. As long as we don't scatter our forces, the abyss, the abyss is nothing to fear. Fear is useless anyway. Even if the endless surge of monsters scares you to death, you still have to fight. There's no other choice. So where is Mawika? <clears throat> she took a small team of warriors to the mines. A group of people from the Children of Echoes were trapped there. I think she just got back. The lava alone makes the area that area dangerous. And now it's crawling with the monsters. Without her power, she's just an ordinary vision bearer like the rest of us. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. Spawning spewing nonsense! As always, quit worrying and look at the outcome! Genius! She's still obviously the strongest warrior we have! Yeah, she always seems so confident. Plus, she told us you can <sighs> only become the Archon by proving your strength. It's true. She certainly helps us save manpower. She can handle the dangerous areas most entirely on her own. Alright, alright, I'm tired of this conversation. Either take a break or get moving already. A break sounds good. We won't be much help in the field any if we were dead on our feet. Good idea. Maybe we can see if the people around here need anything in the meantime. Even on, on our break, we can still be helpful. <laughs> Looks like we're on the same page. Yeah, definitely. All be refugees? I'm gonna assume so. Hmm. We got additional optional objectives as well. Give me a moment. Alright, we have to talk to Uturuku again. Uturuk again. Audra Kokopon. Hmm. Alright. Alright, I could go again, so let's see. Alright, who do I speak to again? Alright, we can rest here a while. Let's go about an Adra here. Uh, uh, here's our warrior again. Let's talk to him again. I managed to accept my fear, but I still want to ask you one last thing. If I die, do you think anyone will remember me? That is a tough question here. That is literally a tough question here. How do I... Alright. How do I motivate you again here? I can't say absolutely, but I'm gonna say don't think about that. Do your best to stay alive. That's all you could do. Yeah, please do whatever you can to stay alive. Your life is super important. My life is super important. Got it. Thank you again for leading me to the answer. Yeah, he really needs that motivation here. I feel like he can make it. That's all I can think about here. So... Let's speak with Andra. Kokobon and Andra. Arda. Here. Ah, oh, it's you two! Oh, I'm so glad you're alright. Hey, you made it back! Sure did. Dargo made sure we got back safely before rushing out again. Plus, we managed to deliver the medical supplies to the stadium. I re oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to just do that. <laughs> Alright, I guess y'all can see that. Alright, so who do I talk to again? We could rest here, but there's someone on top here. Um, what are they doing on top here, though? Alright. Oh, it's you two. Perfect timing. I heard you saved this lady, too. You definitely did. That's right. They rescued my potion shipment. Wonderful. These potions are just what I needed to treat my patients. I'll make sure you're well rewarded for the trouble. Yeah, I felt like this. This is what happened here. Like, if you had chosen to choose the other option when you're speaking with Iwiha here, um, they would have perished, and the medical supplies would be lost, and she wouldn't have the supplies to treat her patients. Don't worry about it. The regular price is more than enough. Time is the most precious thing right now. Thank you so much. Let's head out soon. Sounds good. Alright. Now we gotta rest for a while. And hopefully... Yeah. 
Is there anything else I need to do? I think, I think I already did all I can here. I think I did all I can here. Yeah, let's rest for a while. Wanna get some rest, Traveler? We have to head out again in a yeah, bit. Yeah, let's get some rest. Alright, Alright, can you just back with the ladies report, but before I check it out... Actually, you know what? I gotta check on something real quick, so I'll be right back. The situation is still quite grim. Here, take a look. <clears throat> look like this place also isn't as safe as we thought. Plus, the bridge to the stadium is also compromised. <laughs> uh, we're about to get in. It's an abyssal pylon. That rebel, the rebel rousers return. They don't know when they to give up. An abyssal pylon here. That's not good news. We need to deal with it now. Yep, indeed, we gotta deal with that bullshit. Hmm. Yeah. All right, we got Kanichi playing bull here. Whoa. Alright. Oh hell. Alright. Gotta break the shielding. Alright. Ah, 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 ah. Right. Got rid of All right. Wanted my full attention, did you? Oh hell no, come on. Alright. Alright, which one's me? Locked up for the Lord. Alright, can you do your stuff? Okay, we gotta prioritize this fucking fight like now. I think we just lost some people. Alright. Alright, we got another one that disappeared? Oh, hell no. Come on. Oh, they got away. Never mind. We got rid of the byline, thank god. Woo! Okay. Get him, Kachina! What? Wait, what's going on? Whoa! What the hell? What is this? Uh oh. Oh shit. Full invasion now. Woo! Not the big boys. Come on. I hate those things, man. Alright, full scale invasion incoming. How are we gonna get out of this one? Well, looks like the world has ended. Captain saves the day. Get him. Uh, 
And where is the Mawika? Here comes a war on everybody else. Holy shit. Damn! Thanks. The situation is grave. Hold this position. Keep the people safe. <laughs> so you go in emptiness. So that's the abyss. And it knows that now is its best chance. Yeah. But the sacred flame. Archon's on the case. <laughs> He is right there. That's the Gnosis? Wow. Be gone. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be up there for quite a while. The physical embodiment of pure dread and destruction. <laughs> that black pit of despair will eat you all alive. Ah, at long last. <laughs> Laugh all you want, it's gonna eat you too. So this is the source of the abyss's power. It emitted a huge amount of abyssal energy. This is a full-scale invasion of Natlin. I have to get closer to that to look at that thing. It may already be too late. Get to the, pl the place mentioned in the battle port. I have a feeling things are about to get very bad very quickly. There's no time to lose. You got it. The fact that Deadpan Kanich is this nervous just goes to show how serious this really is. Dude. Yeah, look at that thing. That is nihility if you can see that. Oh, let's go. The disaster is really happening. Whew. I'm all chill here. So, let's see here. 54% it's half we're losing here here uh, at the monsters we got told more deaths than ever five things resolved at the monsters here I'm not sure if we have <laughs> a chance you know honesty all right thanks for your help we'll manage for now please go help the other affected areas Nowhere safe from the abyss monsters now, but at least they're still scared off by the sacred flame. We'll stay here and protect any refugees who have come here to seek sanctuary. All right, all right. Let me see. Anything else here? Mm, nothing. Nothing indeed. All right, let's let's. Get some of that we need some health. That's what I need. That's my god dang need. All right. All right. So we got survivor search rescue north. This is an emergency. The results will depend on that. Let's see. Hmm. Then we got some affected areas here. Um, more of that. Um, more Kachina reports here. More of you. Kanichas over there. The immense power of the abyss is taken in favorable form. Uh, mm. Mm, let's see. Alright, after coming to a conclusion here, I believe I'm going to check the north first because I never checked the north. So I'm going to go ahead and check the north. Alright. Where are they the at? The report said there are still people here who could use our help. So let's wipe the monsters out. Shabam! Drilling down! Woohoo! I gotta be fast though. Let's shred, Sharky. Overrule. Spin to win. Get back. Everlasting. 
Testing as the moon. All right. Let's check if there's any survivors. Yeah, I see him. There's only two left. Over here. Come on, quick. Wake up. You gotta wake up. <laughs> They're all dead. Oh, no. Were we too late? <gasps> no. Don't come any closer. Oh, thank goodness we found two survivors. It's okay, sweetie. They're not monsters. I think they're here to help. Don't worry, you're safe now. Thank you. What happened here? The Abyss had us surrounded. Luckily, these Fatui came to our rescue, and we started evacuating. But then that black fire shot out of the stadium, and that huge monstrosity appeared in the sky. Right? They couldn't fight nowhere. them off, so... So they hit us here. Oops. I actually accidentally uh, pressed that. So monsters suddenly appeared everywhere, huh? <laughs> oh. You should keep moving. There is no place. There is. This is no place to hang around. Right. You need to get to the stadium. Come on, we'll take you. <sighs> Thank you. You saved our lives. We're forever indebted to you. Yeah, Paimon's VA is going all out on this. Paimon. Huh? This is no disaster. This is war. War never changes. Yeah. Paimon knows it's just... It hasn't fully sunk in yet. But anyway, right now, let's focus on getting them to the stadium. With any luck, there'll be an update waiting for us there. If not, we'll just have to play things by ear. Okay. All right, so we got another report here. Hmm? Okay. See you love real quick. Need the latest battle report? We don't have too much information since so few messengers are making it back here. But, as I understand, the folks at the Scions of the Canopy Outpost suffered a large-scale abyss attack as they were trying to evacuate civilians to the stadium. If you're free, please head there immediately. Okay, so what's the purport? Damn. Uh, Denton, you say. Now the abyss activity is as strong as ever. So, yeah, we got a few choices to figure out how to fight things here so let's see is it just the south then oh where, where are you going all right i guess we got no choice but to fight these things huh oh we gotta help this guy out Get back here, dumbass! Hey! Hey, how dare you! Get back! I hate this shit with bastards! Oh, hell no! Get back here! Dude, what is this? Alright, what is this? Hang on, I need to see this. Uh, Denumbra's Mimiflora. Looks like. <laughs> Everlasting as 
the moon. Transfixed. Alright, his shields are down. Its shields are down. It's a flower. It's a literal flower. Get back here. There we go. It's you. You came. What happened to the other warriors? After you left, some of them started evacuating the civilians. Well, the rest stayed behind to keep guard, but... They're all dead. I'm the only survivor. We're done for now. The Abyss will attack again any minute. And then I'll be a dead man too. The last few civilians holed up indoors won't stand a chance. Hang in there. We'll think of something. There's gotta be a way out of this. Like what? None of the civilians have any combat experience. There are old people. Children. Wounded. They can't defend themselves. The monsters are gone for now, right? Get back inside! It's too dangerous out here! I know it's dangerous. That's why I came out. Same. Huh? What is this? Can you spare some equipment for us? I've never been in a battle before, but I'm young and I can hold a weapon. That's gotta count for something. And I used to fight in the pilgrimage when I was a younger man. Admittedly, I never made it very far. But if you hand me a spear, I... I think the old muscle memory will kick in. Look at those determined eyes right there. There are others willing to join us as well. I persuaded them to fight. We can't let the blood spilled by our warrior brethren be in vain. We can't watch on as our heroes lose heart. And we can't let them fight alone. Hmm. We don't have much equipment left. Okay. Take these. With a few extra fighters. We should just about be able to hold our own. It'll be a slow advance, but that's better than being stuck here. Everyone who's fighting, be prepared to follow my orders to the letter. You gotta toughen up, man. Yes, sir. Got it. Take our hot air balloon. You can use it to get to the stadium. Uh, no need. You'll have other people to save. We're taking up arms so that you can focus on more important things. You're the heroes, after all. Okay, well, try going that way. That's the route we came from, and there weren't too many monsters. Thank you, both. You've been a huge help. I am devastated by the deaths of my brothers in arms. But if their sacrifice means anything, I have to live on. We're not going down without a fight. Just be careful. Thanks. We will. Now, go. There are other people to save out there. <sighs> There's a freaking pit in my stomach. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully they can get out safe no matter what. Alright. Uh, I feel like I should keep an eye on them just in case. Alright. Actually, I gotta be faster than this, so... Uh, we only got survivors search and rescue in the north. Uh, I'm afraid what will happen to here. Okay. I think this is one of those things where... Monsters everywhere you look and... Oh no! Looks like there's a zombie in for Why is there more? Amazing. Oh, here. I gotta take some attack potions. Hang on. Come on, come on. Where'd you go? I'll just take these. Don't, don't ask questions. Witness my rise. 
Follow the voice of the ghost of survivors. Oh no. Looks like we lost three people. I think I hear something up here? Oh no. It's a baby Yukimasaurus. Aww. Guess you're the sole survivor, huh, buddy? There, there. Don't be scared. Head to the stadium, you'll be safe there. It's that way! You're upset. Aww. And nothing Paimon says can make it better. But you have to go right away, okay? <gasps> Stay strong, little buddy. Yeah, you're right. We have to keep going. The latest intel said the children of Echoes need support too. Let's head over. Yeah. This is one of those choices have consequences type of thing. I don't expect anything like heartbroken here. Like, I chose to go to the north. I save a mother and child. I sacrifice these guys in the process. I may save the young Yumikasaur, but these guys died because of my choice. Hoyo knows what they're doing with the stories here. So, any updates here or anything? This is where it gets stupidly intense. So, endless echoes. Uh, right. I'm not sure my choices do have consequences. I don't think I've helped the children echoes over there. So I think I'm gonna see a few survivors These warriors up there. Are struggling. Quick, look out them. Yeah, if I didn't help them up there, then uh <laughs> Alright, I gotta get rid of that pile on the foot. Stop that, you stupid damn wizard! Alright, I got rid of the damn- Alright, I got rid of the pylon. Are we good? Damn wizard. Hoo-hoo. Thank you so much. You saved the day. The enemy attacks grow stronger with each wave. We're nearly at breaking point, given how few of us are left. I think it's time we cut our losses. This base is as good as gone. Yeah, everyone needs to stick together. Best to regroup somewhere else. Better late than never. Time to evacuate. Warriors, gather round. There's only a few of them, huh? Man. For anyone who still wants to fight on the front lines, the children of Echo's front is the closest to here. Anyone who wants to leave, We'll likely also see action as they evacuate, but we'll be afforded safety at the stadium. Those are the options. We're abandoning this base, and you're free to stay with the group or leave. With our limited numbers, I can't promise that we'll be of any real assistance to the children of Echo's war effort, even if we do join them. Please bear this in mind as you make your decision. Now then, anyone who wishes to keep fighting Show me how serious you are. Really? Even after my less than rousing speech? <laughs> Why would we give up now, after everything we've been through? We didn't stick it out this far just to admit defeat. We can't give another inch to the Abyss. We have to fight them back. If not for our own sake, then at least for our fallen brethren. Very well. For Natlan. For Natlan! We may be few in number, but our will remains strong. We will join the ranks of the Children of Echoes, and they will be stronger for it. How- Okay, However well, little. take care of yourselves. Oops. However little, he says. Don't worry. It'll be just like another Night Warden War. We'll force the Abyss back if it's the last thing we do. Uh, what's that? Whoa. That came from the sky, huh? Shoot! That creepy abyss thing is raining down a dangerous looking substance again! That's over towards people of the Springs territory. From what I've heard, their defenses have been substantially weakened by the abyss invasion. Then let's head over and check on them! What choice we got? Alright, what choice we have now? Alright. 
Alright, uh, Flowers of Darkness, they call it. Alright. I'm, I'm just going fast, because I just realized when I uh, called, he said, You gotta be faster. Because apparently something bad would happen if you don't go do this fast. I'm not sure what the hell is going to happen. What is that? They're all dead. Again. Oi, oi, oi. Witness my rise. Overrule. What is the deal with this thing? What? Oh, why isn't anything working? At this rate, the abyss is just gonna keep sending more and more monsters. The next wave will be here soon. We need to get out of here. Let's check the area for survivors and hurry. Yeah, we have to. I don't think anybody survived. There's just one battle report left, and it gives a long list of places where the dangerous substance has been dropping. <sighs> This is the first report we've had in ages, which means the messenger's job has become all but impossible. But there's nothing we can do about that. Our priority is to get to the next affected zone. Even if we don't find any survivors, maybe... Maybe that strange substance over there won't be as rock solid as here. There's a chance at least. Yeah. I have so many... The si Holy shit. We've... We have... <laughs> This is dire. Disordered. I think we have may have done screwed here. Total deaths over 2,000. Damn. I mean, I know there's some choices where you have to lessen the deaths, but... You, I, the best you could do is get under 1,000. But... But hell. Like I said, choices matter in this damn thing. Alright. Do we have any fi finality forthcoming? Okay. So, this must have swallowed a number. Let's go here. Which is... We're gonna be the right in a hard balloon, apparently. Again. Damn it. Come on. Gotta get there faster. Whoa! Damn it! Are you serious? Son of a bitch! Alright. Why? Come on. Dude, this has gotten extremely dire. There's another one of those things over there. Yeah, right over there. Can I check the map here? Yeah, you rescued a few little ones who survived. Whether they are human or sorry and burn, they decided to defend their home. Yeah, you rescued the survivors here, paying the utmost respect to those who made the ultimate sacrifice. I'm not sure what this. Consumed by the abyss of power. Means of that power. Ooh. Holy consumed. What is this? Holy consumed. Stop that. And holy consumed. Yeah. Yeah, this is, land is almost fully 100% corrupted. And I see more of those things right there. And no survivors. How are we gonna keep. How are we gonna win this? There are too many monsters. There are just too many. It's beyond anything we've seen before. Yeah. Damn, I'm trying to figure out how fast can we go. Come on. Faster. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. See anything going up here, though? Yeah. I wonder how bad it was during that. If this was bad, I feared that the economy and disaster would have been extremely worse. You know? Like, extremely and very, very worse. Can this game go faster? Yeah. I mean, I'm glad I saved a mother and a child. But three people had to be sacrificed for that, though. 
And it's some Saurians. Ooh, I don't want to hit by the tree. Oh, it looks like the Scions is apparently being a trouble here. Damn, look at that. They got hit hard. Well, at least it's not on fire. Right? Right? This <laughs> is so slow. It's building very good tension. It really. Alright. More monsters. Well, looks like the Scions is completely destroyed. Or not. I'm not sure. Can we even save anyone there? Or are they hiding? I don't know. Alright, reinforce the hotspot. Yeah, indeed. Uh, yeah. I think everyone evacuated to the stadium. I'm not too sure. Yeah. I mean, if they have one of these points in the game story where it's gonna be a massive, uh, like a massive war battlefront here. I hope I'm almost. Traveler, this war is getting too much for Paimon to take. Give me a hug. Don't be afraid, Paimon. I know we can win this. Okay, yeah. let's do this. I know that in some things that there's gonna be a dire situation where it's like impossible to win. That there is no hope, you know. And then somehow we can break through, you know. Somehow we win this, wait, win this, turn the tide, and all that stuff. So I'm gonna say this right now: this chapter, this act, is getting peak right there. This is peak story time here. I never, I, I need to see if Toto's doing okay. I mean, that giant dinosaur that we went on top on when we first met Kachina? All of it's doing okay. In all honesty, I don't know where it is. Like, really, I don't know where it is. Maybe I can find out here. Maybe. I wish I could oh, just. Thank goodness, <gasps> those people are still standing. No. No. Is that? That can't be Toto. Oh hell no. All right. Lay to bear. Clear the area. Carving waves. Let's stretch, Sharky. All right. Was I in time? Yeah, Pime on the drill sergeant. We got this. Okay, we saved more people this time. Still no luck, huh? What on earth are these things? How are they invulnerable to attack? Yeah, at least with regular abyssal pylons, anyone with a vision can destroy them. But this thing, no one's seen anything like it before. It's like a part of that sky demon's body or something. <sighs> Whatever it is. It seems like it can spawn abyssal pylons, and with them, a never-ending stream of abyss monsters. We're just no match for it. At this point, retreat looks like our best option. We're fighting a losing battle here. The stadium is our only hope. That's where the sacred flame is, which seems to be the one thing that well of abyssal energy is afraid of. The pyro archon is guarding the flame. As long as that continues, we still have hope. The smalls. What's this? Water. And some snacks. You look like you need it. I'm guessing you've been supporting the fight all over the map? Sounds like you need a breather. We got enough people to hold our own here. And it's high time you took a break. Why don't you sit down and gather your strength for a minute? It's true. We've been fighting pretty much non-stop. Traveler, you must be exhausted. What do you think? Right now, there are bigger things to worry about. What is it? As long as that dark monstrosity remains unbeaten, gathering together might actually put a big target on the children of Echoes' back. Oh, you're right. Well, then guess we'd better go warn them. Um, it's your decision. If you want to set off right away, Paimon will come with you. Alright. I feel like I should check on that. 
I, I, I haven't seen any dinosaurs right here, but it's not moving, though. It better not be Toto. There you go, buddy. It's still gonna hurt for a few <sighs> days, but apart from that, you're on the mend. It's alive! Toto? Toto, is that you? It is! Oh my god, it's alive! It's still alive! When I saw it just laying down, I thought it was dead. Because apparently before I came, I kind of did a little... I had to ask someone who played this before, a friend of mine. And they say, Toto is play, has played... There's an important thing about Toto in Act 4. And it got me a little worried because we made friends with this thing. And I haven't seen it anywhere else in the whole game here. Okay. And there was a chance that this th that Toto could die in this war if you were not fast enough, if you were slow. Toto was the only member of his family who didn't flee from the invasion. I don't know if he was being territorial or what, but he stayed and fought the Abyss. If he fought those creatures, good for him. He's such a badass dinosaur. If you hadn't gotten here when you did, he may not have made it. We should let him rest here until he's able to stand again. I'll look after him. Thank you so much, <laughs> Toto. Next time you're told to evacuate, be a good Saurian and do as you're told, okay? Otherwise, Kachina will be worried sick about you. Yeah, I would. I can't imagine how bad she would feel if 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 Kachina heard that Toto died in the war. She would have been extremely devastated. Oh, my heart can't take it. I I really can't. You better survive this, buddy. You better survive. Alright. Alright, is there anything else we can talk to these guys about? These monsters. They're what the winners of the pilgrimage go on to fight, aren't they? So, that makes us veterans of the Night Warden Wars now, too. Yeah, you could say that. I hadn't thought of it like that, but now that you mention it, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I got some encouragement from that, yeah. Neither of us are name bearers. So in principle, we should never have had the chance to fight on the front lines. In that sense, this is kind of a dream come true for us, isn't it? There's a silver lining right here. We're not in this for fame or glory, but for our childhood dreams of one day becoming a hero. That's the one silver lining right here. You got regular civilians and name bearers who actually won, who actually got into this place in war here. So, yeah, we've gotten, we got. We got them in time, and that's okay here. The Abyss Tumor fell here, twisting it into a layer of mo uh, for monsters. Wow. All right. That means we gotta we gotta f uh, help these help these help them here here. So due to the power, they have a higher ex ex uh, health point here. All right. Let's get there quickly. Really quickly. All right. Is there I can change the party? Yeah, I can. I can change party here. I mean, I think I'm good with my team here for now. Oh no, the monsters have already stormed in. Yeah, and I see Kachina. Or is that a? Oh, I see Salone and Kachina here. Yeah. Damn. You two got moves. Shit. It's you guys. Things are bad here. Something fell out of the sky that's impervious to our attacks. Huh, not just here. We've run into a few of those these few of these already. Pakal gave the order for everyone to evacuate. See alone and I stayed behind as a rear guard. It's a good thing you did, otherwise we might not have made it in time. Yeah. Kachina, she and I can deal with the remaining monsters and abyssal pylons. You should go catch up with the rest of the group before your parents start worrying about you. Oh, I, yeah, I can't wait to meet her parents. Got it. I'll leave right away. They all they need all the help they can get. Stay safe, Kachina. Yes. <sighs> Come on. Let's get this done. I have never been so stressed in my life in this game. <laughs> Alright. Do I get her as a trial character? Yeah, I do. Alright. <laughs> Hey, get down here, Jack. 
Right, I gotta give it to you. God, get this jack of mine. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi, oi. Get back. Damn it. All right. This is where you fall. Lay bear. Let's ride. Alright, shields are down, get him. Let the mountains be boil! Alright, we got rid of that thing. So we have a new enemy type and a new annoyance. Okay, okay. No time for that. Oh hell no, not this thing. That guy is almost dead. It okay. What am I climbing here for? For? Witness my Transfixed. There we go. All right. At least they survived. And there's more down there. How quaint. All right. At least these guys survived. All right. Bombs away! Wait, get back here! There we go. Nice. Event evac complete. Prepare to fall back. So we just gotta leave. Damn it. Let's ride. All right. All right, we're in it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yep, that's everyone. And no more casualties by the look of things. Yeah, this is uh good. We can evacuate shortly. I I appreciate your help. How are how are things out there? Pretty dire, I bet. I'm extremely dire. <sighs> Some of the things I've seen, I... I don't know if I'll ever be able to get them out of my mind. Are we in Natland doomed to this fate? I believe we might. I've never witnessed a full-scale abyss of Asian before. I mean, I'd heard stories about <coughs> the sky being painted black, but I always thought that was an exaggeration. Mawika has witnessed this all before, so she knew better than anyone the terror and despair an abyss of Asian would bring. Yeah, and despite that, she's still facing it head on. We've had to abandon our homes and chase the dying light of day. And maybe the only time we'll see the dawn again is in our dreams. But as long as there's even a sliver of hope, I am not going to give up. Me either. We should catch up with the group. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, where are we going? All right. I mean, we should be near him, right? Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna check the map here real quick and see what that says. Yeah, never mind. Uh, okay, I apologize for that little interruption. I got caught on a call that took about a few minutes long. Now we can get back into this here. Okay, I see I see Kajina and the Templosaurus and the rest of the children of Ghost. 
Ayo, how you doing? Look at them waiting for me. Great, you made it here unscathed. Kanich came by just now and with re some really bad news. Those indestructible bis things have been dropped by all, all of the tribal territories. So it wasn't just the children of Echoes. Even the collectible plenty was affected, and they're the furthest away. But the worst affected region was the Flower Feather clans. He said it's a dis complete disaster over there. What? Isn't that Chaska's tribe? She said she was going to take Koichi home to rest for a while. Yeah. Kanich didn't even stop to catch his breath before leaving for the stadium. He was said he was going to try and assemble a team to go and support them, but... But how, right? Everyone's struggling just to defend themselves. There is no spare manpower. At this rate, it won't be long before even the stadium is indefensible. And with everyone congregating at the stadium, the Abyss forces will start converging there, too. Then there will be a battle on a scale much larger than anything we've seen so far. On the bright side, at least my old injuries aren't playing up at the moment. It means I can actually join in with the fighting. The crux of the issue is that the heart of the Abyss itself has joined the invasion. That's a power we just can't match. I have every faith in the courage of our people. The Natlanese will never give in to despair. But still, the fact is, our lives are more fragile than our spirits. Okay, so we got a name for the Natlan people. Well, we have Fontanians, Liwayans, uh, Inasumans, um, Monstadians, or Monstadans. I don't know. But Natlanese. Wow. Traveler Paimon knows what you're about to say. We have to go to the Flower Feather Clan. Yes. Yeah. Paimon sure is getting tired from all this flying, but... It doesn't matter. Wherever you go, Paimon's going to. I'm glad I have you as a companion, Paimon. I am so glad. Can I get a plushie of you? Okay. So, until the Power Archon succeeds in her plan, every life we save is worth it. Yep. We'll leave the Children of Echoes to you guys. Flower Feather Clan, hang in there. We're coming. Really? But you guys must be near your limit, surely. If there was ever a time to push ourselves to the limit, that time is now. We gotta go. In a convenient loading screen later. Am I actually going to see what the Wait, over there! It's just getting creepy! Oh damn! Traveler! Over here! Hurry! Hey! Okay, she sounds so distressed. What happened? Oh, I hate you bastards with the shields. Back here. Back here. Overrule. Ay, 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 okay. Carving waves. Need okay. support? Oh, okay. Pitiful, everlasting as the moon. Transfixed. Oh, how long is this gonna take? There we go, we got that done, we got that down. Alright. I will admit that's a good looking flower. Or whatever it's called, but we gotta check in Chaska. Uh oh no. Koichi, what's wrong with Oh She's got affected by the abyss power. What happened to her? She's covered in abyssal energy. She, she, I think she's severely contaminated. I'll help her. I don't think it's gonna be enough. I have a bad feeling that there's gonna Please, be. Please, save her. I uh, think in, in this situation, I don't think that's gonna be possible. I have a bad feeling on this one. We could try to save. Come on, traveler. We could do this. Oh, she's game. How's that, Koichi? Any better now? I hope you are. Koichi! Koichi! Chaska. I used to think mom and dad were crazy for adopting you. Oh, oh dear God. If, she ta if she's talking like that, 
I think I know what this means, guys, and I hope you guys do too. We're too late, weren't we? I was the younger sibling, but I always felt like it was my job to help mom and dad take care of you. I thought I could set you free from the abyssal energy you struggled with. I guess I was pretty full of myself, huh? Thinking I could fix you when... Well, we were always the same. Hush, Koichi. Put those thoughts right out of your mind. We'll be at the stadium in no time, okay? I'll carry you there. The abyssal contamination is gone now. Just rest, and you'll get better. I was always nagging you to slow down. Stop rushing headlong into things. <sighs> I just didn't want anything to happen to you. Or to anyone else because of you. I worried about you so much. But now, I realize... I never really understood what it's like for you. The fact that you survived an abyssal contamination was... A miracle. But it also left you in a constant state of agitation. The fact that we became family was another miracle. But with me worrying about you all the time, it feels like I just agitated you even further. I'm starting to tear up. Don't say that. No, absolutely not. Nothing could be further from the truth. Do you hear me? All you ever did was love me. Same goes for mom and dad. I've always known that. And I feel terrible because... I really did want to get along as a family. It might take me some time, but... I'll find a way to make it work. I'm so sorry, Koichi. I never meant to make you feel this way. It's okay, Chaska. No need to apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. No one did. It's nobody's fault that things didn't turn out great. I get it now. So, no nagging from me this time. Oh no, please no. You keep forging ahead, sis. Oh, she's dying. Never slow down and never hold back. Spread your wings and fly free. Like the fiercest kookasaur in the sky. Show the world who the bravest flower feather warrior is. <laughs> because that's who you are. And that's the sister I'm proud of. Koichi! Koichi! Koichi? She's gone. <laughs> the seal's been broken. Oh god. <laughs> what did I say that? Why did I say that? Oh. Hold yourself together. She did it. This is sad here. I know that without war, there's gonna be a tragic loss, and I think I just found it. I really like Chukoichi. God. What happened? Are you okay? I think she's okay now. L let's just give her some space while she cools down. Oh, man. Oh, yo. Why you what do this? What was that just now? It looked like abyssal energy was flowing out of her, but then a split second later, it disappeared. Chaska managed to rein it in. Koichi did say that Chaska needs to let off steam now and then, or she'll end up losing herself. 
But this time she wrestled back control. Just like Koichi always hoped. If only we were faster. Dealing with abyssal contamination is a piece of cake for you. We could have gotten to her earlier than you could have treated her before. Before it was too. Wait. What's happening to Cheska? <gasps> The stone. How unfair life can be. She's had the odds stacked against her from the very beginning, and each step forward has been an agonizing one. Maybe she would have been better off embracing her pain. I think we may have found our final hero. But her journey goes on, and one question looms large in her mind. If she could rise above the layers of pain, and ascend over the dark clouds of her mind, what then would she find? Maybe the glorious light of the sun, or maybe a dark, empty void. There is only one way to find out. She needs to spread her wings and soar to new heights. That is the true meaning. Life. You're from 500 years ago. My life's suffering shall be my epitaph. To remember the pain I endured. And finally, transcended. <sighs> and disappears. Like I said, she just got chosen. Let's take Koichi somewhere safer. And... That was never the proudest, it's not the proudest moment here. You take Chaska, you and Chaska take Koichi back to the stadium. Is there going to be a funeral pyre? Or something? Please, take care of Koichi for me. I still have more important things to do. Yeah. Of course. We are grateful for her service. Yes. She served selflessly. I'm sorry, Chaska. It's all right. I'm far from the only one going through this right now. Koichi wanted to be a hero. And in my heart, she always will be. If we want to honor what she stood for, not to mention her sacrifice... Archon, we need to hurry. <sighs> Time for this war to end. Alright. Head to the center to the Sinium and witness the gathering of heroes. What's the status? Do we have enough medical supplies left? We're almost out. There are still the emergency supplies, but they're reserved for the doctors and soldiers. We can't touch those. I know, I know. All right, well, give me my share at least. Ah, it's you. Glad to see you're both all right. How's your son doing? No idea. Communications have dried up. And there are too many wounded people to attend to. Right now, my focus is on them. But I trust him. I know he'll make the right call even when the going gets tough. He's my son, and I'll always be proud of him. Okay, so I think at this point we're at the stadium and we're going to see the results of our choices here. I need to believe. May the Wyub grant you peace. And may songs be sung of your life's journey. We give thanks for the gift of your life and ours. And we look forward to meeting you again one day in a world of wonder and beauty. God damn it, I really like this character. I really, really do. I'm so grateful Mayoel is here. 
With her expertise, we were able to treat a lot more- But I'm worried she's overdoing it. She hasn't stopped this whole time. I need to get someone else to step in so I can persuade her to take a break. Yeah. Koichi... God damn. I, I'm, I'm getting... My, my emotions are haywire. I can't think right now. Alright. We're gonna see some effects here, like... For example, it would have saved someone, someone would have been standing right here. Someone would just be laying down here and there. Uh, I'm not sure how many people we've let die, or... There's the young Yumikasaur here. It's the Yumikasaur we rescued! You made it back! Aww. Oh, that's such good news! I'm going to cry. Damn it, I haven't cried this bad since I went through the Hita's birthday event. Oh my god. And you know what just we you know what the, the sad thing is? If I would have chosen to save this little guy along with the other uh Yumikasaurus and assistants, the other Yumikasaurus could have been dead, but I would have saved the other three people. And then those people would've would be standing by him. By this little guy. Now he's just gonna stand there all alone. God damn. This sh this quest hits hard. I saw you brought Quichi back. It's such a tragedy. Kuichi was the most promising doctor I've ever had the pleasure to meet. We were close business partners. She had the highest standards for medical supplies, and she'd often dip into her own pockets to treat her patients. She always told me how she valued the experience more than the money. She said she had to perfect her skills so that she could save more people, especially the one person she wanted to save the most. Chaska. Sadly, in the end, the one person she couldn't save was herself. And now, Natlan has lost one of the finest talents of a generation. <sighs> Results of our choice here. At least I saved the mother and daughter, at least. Oh, hey you two. Thanks again for rescuing us. Osawe, look who it is. Say thank you to these heroes. Thank you. Oh, don't mention it. Just glad you're okay. I also gotta say thank you to the other people who helped us. What were they called? <laughs> Fat? Chewy? <laughs> God damn it, don't make me sad and make me laugh at the same time. <laughs> uh, uh, Fatui. Yeah, that's it. The Fatui. They were also amazing. Yeah. Yeah, in the past, my impression of the Fatui wasn't exactly positive. But this has really changed my perspective. Good people can be found in every organization. Yeah, but they were just following orders. But there's always someone... ...willing to take the chance to save those. Because that's what they were told. Complete the mission. Hey, it's Uturunku. It's you two. Fantastic. I'm so grateful for all your encouragement. I am glad that you survived, man. So many people in Natland see it as an honor to fight the Abyss. But then they let the excitement get to their heads and end up putting themselves in great danger. You were right. It's important to fight. But it's also important to stay alive. We fight for the people we love. And also for the chance to see them again. I shared your thoughts with my brothers in arms. And they were inspired too. Now everyone's fighting with more determination and we're turning the tide. So once again, thank you. From the bottom of my heart. A single encouragement could give a person an extreme help here. Oh, look! I'm glad I saved these people. Look. You're okay! Oh, thank goodness! We were worried sick about you guys. So you made it to safety, huh? Was it a smooth journey? Uh, not exactly. We ran into a bunch of abyss monsters and had to fight for our lives. But I gotta hand it to these folks. They really rose to the occasion. They fought every bit as well as trained warriors. <laughs> Guess the old muscle memory is still intact. I feel very lucky to be alive. We have to keep surviving, so we can start to take back what we've lost. You guys better make sure you keep surviving too. Nah, that's because we're the main characters. We still got things to do. You know, the sad thing is, if I, if I wasn't making it in time, or didn't save this guy in time, none of these people would be here. Jesus Christ. Alright, where am I going? Where do I go? Alright, is anyone over here? No. Anyone over there? No. They're probably in the inner sanctum. Alright, am I able to go through here? No, it's closed. God damn. 
This is supposed to be the walk of uh, walk of shame or fame, because we got choices here. Oh my God, what happened? Ooh, I saw some flags S centered in circle here. Everyone, are you ready? Okay, we finally got all of our heroes here, and I think your plan is going to commence here. A bitter war lies ahead. Our victory begins in each of your minds. So ignite the spirit of victory for me. May no further lives be lost, and no one else may to suffer the loss of their loved ones. As long as blood still runs through your veins, even the tiniest spark of steel against stone can ignite a flame. Okay. Its blaze will become one with the gaze of all Natlan. Even amid everlasting darkness, our bonds remain eternal. Shit. <laughs> Stone engraved in echoing peaks. Converge, disperse, and ashes be reborn. I wait to see what your shadow. Flames born anew, and the blazing dawn. Okay, he looks like a scholar. A hero scaled the volcano to seize the sun. Please let your shadow be, be a. Uh, buff, dude. I don't know why, but I think her clan's like all bodybuilders. Anointed with flames, she shone with the light of a thousand stars. Is it gonna be a muscle woman? Now, guide me in my first step. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but still, shit. Having foretold his own death, the omniscient man holds a feast in celebration. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism, and send him off with this final tribute. For at last, his wish is now fulfilled. Damn you. This whole strike just gonna keeps ruining the every moment. <clears throat> By past fuel and percent flame, life marches ever on. I'm not sure if he's all much lime or quiet. We will answer to the fire for all of our deeds. My life's suffering shall be my epitaph. To remember the pain I endured, and finally, transcend it. Heroes of the ages, our moment has finally come. I can't wait to see this happening. We unite, unite as one. one. Baptized by the turn fire. Bearing, Bearing an ancient blessing. blessing. Knowing, knowing true power. And accepting a fate of devotion. We, we embrace the, the transcendent, transcendent flame. For Natlan! For Oh my god. Oh damn. This entire quest is peak here. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. And here she comes. Bata. The last. In the name of the Pyro Archon Hollerin, I declare the Night Wars underway. The Ode of Resurrection will guard all life till the war is over. Woo. Damn. Okay. Let's fucking go. Is there going to be a fight or something? Anti- Okay, we got a sun up there. I'm gonna- That is an outright scary level of power. I'm, I'm getting chills all over. So, from now on, all warriors will be able to resurrect themselves using the sacred flame. If only Kuichi would have been here before she died. It. That's right. No more casualties. It's time to wipe the enemy off the face of the earth. And to reclaim our lost territory. This is for all of those who gave their lives for Natlin. Everyone, let's go. Uh, we'll come with you. Will I be able to get my name? Everyone, traveler. Sorry. I'm so grateful you got to us when you did. You gave Koichi the chance to say those words to me before the end. If I'd lost control out there in the wild, 
This counterattack might never have been possible. Probably best not to think about that. More importantly, how are you feeling now? Any better? <laughs> not really. But now is not the time to deal with it. In the spirit of Vuka, I have to rise above it. The conflict and suffering in me are there to test my character. My struggle will make me stronger and make me the person Koichi believed I can be. I absolutely have faith in you, truly. All right, let's go show the Abyss what human beings are made of. They'll be sorry they messed with Natlan after we- Oh, sorry, Paimon. <laughs> after we're done with them, that's that's what I was trying to say. Okay. All right. Mark of the of the. Well, oh, okay. What what is that? The abyss has a massive mark. I, I I can't read all that. Damn it. Okay. So that thing is the abyss tumor. That thing. Oh, you little bastard ambusher. Alright. Aerial support from Moika? Really? How powerful she is now, it's borderline unfair. Hmm, okay. Everlasting as the moon. Transfixed. Yeah. Alright, we gotta deal with these things faster. I think when I destroy those pylons, it's weakening the shield. I gotta go this big guy Use first. my power to destroy the abyss tumors. Damn, really? Alright. Alright. It says the mark of Kosonoi. Kosoinda. Kosoithov. Who is Kosoithov? Wow. Okay. We purified this. Nice. Board the spirit way. Okay, let's go. Wolani? I'm glad I got Mulani for this one. I'm so glad I pulled Mulani. Oh, did you guys see that huge fireball? Where? It exploded right above my head. I didn't Sorry, see it. Mulani. I'll adjust my aim. I didn't see no, it. No, no, you're good, Archon. It didn't hurt at all. Plus, it was freaking cool. Not great for your eyesight, though. Oh yeah, fair point. It's the sun. All right, where are we going? Miserable drags of the abyss. Kneel before the. I can't leave all you. In way too high. It's impossible to mute him. Thank God. How dare you! You instantly cunt to petuous. Oh Thank shit. You, oh damn, she put pushed the mute button on Aha. I, I'm afraid that I may not have been a good Aha, but still. I'm glad he was silent before I decided to voice him. Alright, give him hell. Woo! Alright, sorry if I'm in yelling, but. Sorry for my yelling. I'm just so excited. And trying to voice Kuhu uh -huh, was a terrible task. <laughs> Alright. Check this out. That's the enemy ranks are thinning. Time to double down. Nice. Use the Pyro Archon's power and show no mercy. All right. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. This may be a long ass quest, but I'm so glad that it's going to be over 2 hours maybe. Maybe not glad, but still. Let's go. Comrades are waiting. Friendships have been forged. And time to go. Who will Ah. All right. Where is that at? Kachina, over here. I'll send you up. It'll be quicker. We, this is like right in the spirit way. Now it's my turn. Go, Turbo Torley. I won't be able to voice those dialogues if it's Kanich or Kuhaha or Kajina. Okay, everyone's safe. Granny, please go on ahead with the others. I just need some more time, I promise. I won't hold things up. Oh, Roron! Uh -oh. Leave the vegetables and aphids <gasps> behind, you dingbit! <laughs> it. It's too dangerous! What are you doing? With the veggies! Everyone's gonna need food! But really? Hell. I don't think I ever can ever quit this one, but still. Holy hell. This is going peak here. 
Whee! Oh, ow, ow. What? Incoming bombarding! Tactical Pyron Icon! <laughs> Tactical Mawika incoming! Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey! You're back! <laughs> They got the infinite infinite health health <laughs> buff. Woo -hoo. Damn. Is that it? Look at that results right there. Two thousand Ooh! Okay, it's changing now. Okay. 26 of the Abyss of Power here. Okay. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good so far. The children of Echo's territory is secure. All monsters down. I'll go deal with the Abyss Trumor. All good here at the people of the Springs, too. We crushed it. The Masters of the Night Wind are also safe. Should I go support the Flower Feather Clan? Things are still pretty rough over there. I'm already en route. I don't think this is glitched here. It's like faint and signal fainting here. They're barely getting any reception. No need. I just dealt with it. Nice to let off steam, Cheska. Already? But you were just at the stadium! <sighs> yeah, well, you have no idea how long I've been itching to bash some heads in. I don't blame you. After seeing your sister's death, I can feel you. Never ask, never ask questions about that, Fineman. Ian-san, what should we do about the Collective of Plenty? Your home's a long ways away from the stadium. Oh, no need to worry. I just heard from Verisa. She says they're safe now. Sounds like all regions are secured. The Abyss forces are, forces are weakening. Yeah! Their only game plan was to outnumber us, and that ain't gonna work now that we have the Ode of Resurrection on our side! Hold up. The Abyss is sending a sizable unit towards the stadium. I guess they realize they've realized that the Ode of Resurrection is a game changer. So now they're they are going to try to destroy the Sacred Flame. We ain't gonna let them get away with that. Friends, let's gather at the stadium. More abyss tumors have descended. All near the stadium. Let's split up and take them out. Yeah, overwhelming numbers with spawn points nearby. Oh, God. oh we need someone to guard the main entrance. Allow me. Alright. This is the final battle! Really? <laughs> Literally. This is too intense for me to stop recording. I'm serious. Here they come. Transfixed. This is where you fall. Hell yeah, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Dude. Let's go! Dude, she's bombarding everything! Can I even look at the- Oh, god damn! Okay. Can I even look up the sky? She's running out fire. Oh, she is! Shit. Damn. Tactical freaking Archon Pyron. Or Pyro Archon. Damn. Okay. Oh, hell no. Alright. That wizard down. Dude. Alright. I appreciate you cheering. Damn it. Stop freezing me, bastards. Alright. Is that it? Or not really? This is where you Check this out. All right. Hold the line. On the words of that one Solarian soldier in Mass Effect, we hold the line. <laughs> Late bear. Yes, we held the line. <laughs> Damn. Alright. Ooh. 
there's gotta be a significance to this battle right here. Woohoo! Got this Malika! Oh my god! Uh-oh. You try to block that, huh? Woo! Nice! Oh. Where's that? Oh my god, what? <gasps> Legends were true! The sky is fake! There's a hole in the sky! Dude. The moon. There was a broken moon. She literally punched a fucking hole in the sky. Can we see it? Fully? It was faint. We won the war. Victory is ours. Dude, is anyone? Dude, is anyone gonna notice the Scott, the big old hole in the sky? I bet the captain will. I'm serious. Everyone. We are gathered here to celebrate a glorious victory. It was, certainly was. It is a victory forged by each and every one of us, and we should all be proud of what we have accomplished. We emerge victorious from another crisis to declare, our beloved Natlan is saved! Woo! All right! Nice! I must caution that this war is not yet over. Of course. We have not destroyed our enemy, merely driven them further into the depths of the Night Kingdom. But the Abyss underestimated Natlan's forces, and they have suffered a devastating defeat. It will be a long time before they are able to pose a threat to us again. After making some preparations, I will launch my final counterattack. I shall strike them in their lair and wipe them out for good. Oh, man. Wait, Archon, are you saying you're going alone? Yes. The Abyssal energy there is too strong. Contact with it would be instantly lethal to anyone else. I'm sure you're all still fired up, and you must be eager to take the fight home to the enemy. But I must ask you to temper your ambitions. I will return victorious, for all of us. It's kind of a shame that we can't join him with a final showdown. Please, look at the bigger picture. Thanks to every one of you, we have already secured an enormous victory. Tonight, we should celebrate to our heart's content. Let's feast. Uh, I guess if our lives are no longer at risk, things can basically go back to normal, right? That's good enough for me. Beats having monsters everywhere. When the time comes, I will gather everyone here again. Now, let us also remember those who gave their lives fighting for our nation. Once the last dregs of the Abyss are wiped out, I intend to give them the grand funeral they deserve. An ancient name could never record the many who we lost. But no hero of Natlan should be forgotten. If if I may, let's uh let's have a moment of silence for the fallen. Yeah. Lastly, there is one more person I must thank for his extraordinary support in our time of need. And that is the captain. Speaking in a personal capacity, I should like to offer my sincere congratulations on your victory. Well, everyone, please enjoy the victory feast. I hope it's a chance to relax your minds and rekindle your spirits so that we may face what lies ahead with renewed vigor. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations. Oh, my heart can't even take it anymore. A field named Fate. Okay. We got many people to talk to then. Alright. Alright, who before we talk to Malwika, let's have a chat with Kanich, Yansan, Silon and Mulani, and we're on the captain. Shoot fire. Alright, let's speak with these the other one here. You did a great job, Kachina. Oh, you're much more confident now. Seems like winning the pilgrimage gave you a real boost. <laughs> nah, I just figured I should do my part, you know. I spoke to your mom and dad. 
They were singing your praises. They said the world's your oyster now. You got this. The world's in your hands, Kajina. How are things at the people of the Springs base? There are some casualties, but the overall mood is very positive. I reckon they'll start rebuilding pretty soon. Same situation for the children of Echoes. Still, it's so sad that some people couldn't be saved by the Odo Resurrection. I think I want to hold a candlelight vigil for them when I get home. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's do it together. Let's hope that their sacrifice marks the beginning of a new age for Natlan. An age of unprecedented peace. Yeah, but from the trailer of that 5.2, I think we're going to get more than that, though. Alright, so... God, I ain't going to speak with Kanich and Eon, son. Jeez. <clears throat> Kanich! Are you... You are one lucky devil. I don't know how the heck you're still alive. <laughs> I am in the zero toler I'm in a zero tolerance mood right now. Stop being so flippant. Unless you want to get punched in the face. What is it with you, Ahal? Why are you so incapable of being nice? Oh, this is rich! One measly victory and it's all gone to your head! Huh. You'd be all minced meat by now if not for the heroic deeds of the almighty Dragonlord, Kuhu Ahal! Alright, credit where's where credit's due. Here's a bunch of grapes for your trouble. Don't treat me like your pet parrot! Um, how are the scions of the canopy and the collective of plenty? The messengers are the worst affected. I expect there'll be delays on all deliveries in that land for some time. Although, fortunately, a lot of people have said they're willing to help out part-time. That should alleviate the situation. The collective of plenty was the furthest from the Abyss's entry point, so they didn't have as many monsters to deal with. From what I hear, they got off relatively unscathed. I don't know why, but that sounds suspicious to me. But it might have been a different story if Chaska hadn't gotten there when she did. That's good to hear. All's well that ends well. Well, what do you know? These are pretty tasty. Oh, servant! One more- Oh, servant! One more bunch of grapes! Puffs haste! Okay, Polly. <laughs> he just called him Polly. God damn it. <sighs> this is why I hate the VA strike. But, good for them. Alright, let's speak with them. I must congratulate you on your efforts during this war. I'm told you have proven yourself to be an outstanding adventurer and warrior. You remind me of the Prince. The similarities in your approach are striking, especially when you told me you wanted to win. I hope you will see him soon. Thank you. Hey, Auroran, how are the Masters of the Nightwind doing? Granny Sea Lolly's been there the whole time, and she's a tough one. I think we should be fine. I'm sure there'll be some patching up to do, though. That's a job for the young folks. I should probably head back so I can pitch in. Do you need support from the Fatui? Uh, probably not. There are a lot of older folks in our tribe, and I suspect they would find your comrades' presence a little distressing. Right, because often they look like a bunch of intimidating thugs. No lie there. Well, also in my tribe, excessive use of elemental energy is bad for your eyesight. Oh, right. Okay. That's weird. All right, we've spoken to everyone we've spoken to. Let's go ahead and speak with, um, actually, everyone else. Oh, I can't speak with you two. Um, see that your mother and you are doing okay. You two as well. I'm not sure you're being friendly. Overly friendly. I see there are still some people uh, missing here and there, but I'm glad that I did make my choices good. But I hope you guys have played this act um, or quest here. Would make a different choice if you need to. Go with your gut. Go with your feeling. Ah. Welcome. You seem a little out of sorts. Are you just tired, or...? I guess I am. You know, when I was up there in the sky, I could see all of Natland stretching out below me. People everywhere, giving everything they had for a chance at victory. I just... If only I'd been quicker. Maybe they wouldn't have... And Koichi. Maybe she'd still... I'm sorry. Now is not the time for that. Um... <clears throat> Fruit juice, right? Uh, make it a large? At least it's over now. That's something. True. My 500-year plan has almost come to fruition. Just one last step to go. You were going to their lair, huh? Namely, my final battle against the Abyss. 
But battle is second nature to me, so... I'm not feeling a huge amount of pressure. It was so awesome. The way you exploded that thing in the sky with one almighty punch! Are you always going to have that kind of power from now on? Don't forget that she actually punched a hole in the sky, and that kind of confirms our theory, everyone's theory, that the sky of Tevat is fake. And we saw everything in space is red, and the moon is totaled. It is destroyed. I cannot imagine everyone would see the sky, in a hole in the sky. Oh, uh, that was the Divine Throne unleashing my full potential. And it was only temporary. I can't wield that power for any length of time. My body wouldn't be able to handle it. Likewise, the amplified power of the Ode of Resurrection was also temporary. From now on, it's back to ancient name bearers only. I'm guessing the Night Warden Wars are over for the foreseeable future. Correct. We dealt the Abyss a critical blow. So for the time being, it's too weak to sustain regular invasions. I hope the people will be able to enjoy this period of peace. Or rather, assuming all goes to plan, eternal peace. We've had centuries of war with the Abyss, and it's high time we brought that chapter to a close. Anyway, there's something I've been wondering about. I know you've been at the center of some major events in other nations too, and fought many powerful foes. In this war, you were in the thick of it once again, dashing around tirelessly, supporting the fighting on all fronts. So tell me. What drives you to do this as a mere traveler passing through? Why risk life and limb for a cause that's not your own? Because Paimon hates to see people suffer, I just can't turn a blind eye to injustice. I feel like this is my answer, so I can look back on my journey with a clear conscience. A clear conscience. <laughs> Great answer. That's how life should be lived. To the fullest, with no regrets. What I'm really trying to say is... I would love for you, with your extraordinary talent and your sense of justice, to join me in this final step. You and I, together, finally putting an end to the ever-looming threat of the Abyss. But I also don't want to take advantage of your good nature and readiness to help others. The final battle will be very dangerous, and you have the rest of your journey to consider. I'm sure you must be weary. Sleep well tonight. Let's talk again tomorrow in the Speaker's Chamber. I'll give you more details on the final battle, and then... I hope to hear your verdict. I hope this is over. It's not gonna be over, isn't it? So we can keep chatting, or we return to our room and rest. I think it's time for us to finally rest after a long few days of war. Was it, was it a few days or just a single day? I have no idea. Alright, I just had to teleport here. <laughs> See, Lolly just ran towards us. Hey, Traveler, Paimon. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. A little delay there, but that's good enough. Oh, hey, Seat Lolly. What's up? Listen up. I have something really important to tell you. Yes, yeah, say something. Chrissy Lolly quickly explains her concerns about Mawika's what? death. I, are you serious? So Mawika still has to die, then. Natlan must pay the price for Mawika's use of the Ruler of Death's power. That price is death. And only Mawika's death can clear the debt. I had thought that the Ruler of Death might have a change of heart after seeing the people of Natlan come together and fight so bravely, but... Rules are rules. The price still must be paid. Even now that the war's over and the threat to Natlan is gone, it looks like that death is still set in stone. I had to know your thoughts. I want to save her, but I can't do it alone. I'll see what I can do. Okay, good. That makes me feel a little better. Thank you for standing up for us. There's clearly something special about you, so... If anyone has a chance of defying the rules, that would be you. Oh, and please don't breathe a word of this to Mawika. I'm sure she's well aware of the cost of using the Divine Throne's power. But if she finds out that anyone else knows, it could ruin our chances to help. Got it. Mum's the word. Mum's the word. Alright, that was the last major item on my to-do list. 
Now, since I've come all this way, I think it's finally time for a well-earned drink. Please don't drink too much, please. But uh, but after we went through, you deserve a drink. Uh, go, go easy though, yeah? Yes, please. No one wants to hear your five-hour rant about your grandson and everything else. Don't worry. I said a drink. That means just one. But in case, a drink could mean a dozen. All right, you little munchkin. If you keep pestering me, I'm going to have to get serious. Am I seeing some fades, Echoes? I get a hundred kids a day telling me they want to be the next Pyro Archon. Why should I train you? Ah... Uh. Nagging isn't going to accomplish anything. No one can predict the future, and unless you have some exceptional jaw-dropping talent I'm unaware of... I can shoot those cornflakes in your kitchen from right here. Haha, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. You couldn't make that shot from all the way over here? Wait, hold on, you could hurt someone with that. Well, I'll be. You made the shot. She's living her memories, huh? The science of the canopy raise them tough. That's some real skill you got there, little lady. Maybe you really will be Pyro Archon one day. Yeah, she's going through all of her memories, huh? <sighs> this is ridiculous stuff. Continue your journey. That's what it says. See this? I'm the first one of us to get an ancient name. And it's not just any ancient name, but Mollipo. Mollipo, huh? If you ask me nicely, there's still time to join my team for the pilgrimage, you know. <sighs> no need to scowl. You lost and I won. It's no big deal. You want me to be happy for you when your turn comes, right? <sighs> so cheer up. So this is a young Burkina, huh? I'll get my own ancient name soon enough. And it'll be an even better one than yours. Oh, really? Well, good luck with that. <laughs> what ancient name could beat Mollipo in our tribe? <gasps> Unless... Surely you don't mean Kiongozi? Kiongozi means leader, huh? What tribe is she from? I don't know. Fantastic! I can't believe I beat you in a wrestling match for once. Can't be more than a few days now until you're officially made the Pyro Archon. <laughs> Imagine me trying to schedule a wrestling session with you after that. Excuse me, Pyro Archon, but would you be able to take a day off from running the nation to wrestle with me? <laughs> I heard that the Pyro Archon inherits the knowledge stored in the Sacred Flame. And apparently, it can change your personality. I can't help but feel a little worried. <laughs> worried that you won't be able to beat me in a wrestling match anymore? Why would I be worried about that? <laughs> Never mind. Clearly, I'm just overthinking things. Why would you forget about me just because of some new job? Even if that job happens to be Archon. <laughs> Come on. One more round. Hmm. Yeah. After the darkness will come the dawn. Quiz? Quiz. Your name is Quiz. <laughs> So why am I automatically walking? No one fights alone. God, this is so... tense. Building up to something? For Natlan! Look at the sky! It's getting brighter at last! Mawika Wen. Banner. <laughs> we I... walk the righteous path, and the Pyro Archon will guide us. 
Yeah, I'm walking, definitely. Dang, am I on the last pillar, though? The victors shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. Uh, now I know who the vo now I get to hear who Ronova sounds like. I have done what is required of me. The rules are now written into the Night Kingdom, and this will help you to stand against the abyss. It is still not enough. Ah, uh, Shibamanke. All this can do is give my people courage. It will not see us through a true catastrophe. If you are to make the Natlanese alone bear the consequences of a broken world, you will have to bring more to the bargaining table. You are the greediest human I have ever met, and the fiercest negotiator. No other would seriously ask to borrow my power. My domain is death, and its power comes at a great price. The question is, are you prepared to pay? I need that power. Only a hero can truly wield it, and heroes are not afraid of dying. No. A fear of death is ingrained in all living things. If the wielder of this power cannot conquer their fear, countless innocent lives will be claimed in their stead. For only then can the price be paid. Those are the rules. Mine is a nation that will not yield to the abyss. And it will certainly not yield to your rules. As their culture and civilization is transmitted through the generations and their faith grows, the people will go from strength to strength and reach heights that even I cannot dream of. I can't wait to see what you look like, man. Very well. I shall agree to help you. But I am merely a shade, and I do not have as much freedom to do as I please as you might think. Then what do you propose? Keep this a secret. If I am questioned about it, I will deny all involvement and claim that treacherous Shibalamke stole my power. That will not be a problem. Thank you. I am glad we could reach an agreement. <laughs> questions, questions, questions. Questions, questions, questions. Come in. So many questions. As you know, I've asked you to come here to discuss the task of wiping out the abyss. Oh, but first, any progress on the ancient name? I've received the gift from the Lord of the Night. <laughs> I'm surprised she was willing to help you, and by extension, me. I'm very grateful to her. Wait, hold on. Wasn't the whole point of the ancient names for winning that huge battle? Why would the Traveler still need one by this point? Because she wants me to join her in the final battle. That's right. The Abyss has retreated to the depths of the Night Kingdom. A place that has long since been corrupted by abyssal energy. If we don't finish them off and restore the ley lines, the threat they pose to Natlan will remain. The battle we fought yesterday, we may one day have to fight again. This is the fate Natlan has always been resigned to. For thousands of years, we have struggled on the brink of a looming darkness and never known true peace. But this time, I want to break the cycle and free us from this fate for good. With the Sacred Flame, I can protect myself from the Abyssal Corruption, but beyond that, you are the only other person who can resist it. If your ancient name can't be forged, I will go alone. But if it can, I'd really love your help. Is the Oda of Resurrection working again? Not completely. After all, the Night Kingdom is still plagued by Abyssal Corruption. But when I used the power of the Divine Throne, it dispelled a lot of that corruption. Plus, your ancient name is a special case. So the Lord of the Night will take special care of you. In short, the Ode of Resurrection still has a number of limitations, but I can promise that it will work reliably on you. Let's see. Good. Then I will join you in the battle. Or sounds like I'm in. I'm your only option anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are we forgetting something here? What about Paimon? What's her place in all this? God, I really hate to say this, Paimon, but you'll need to stay behind. What? You mean we'll be separated? The Abyss is extremely devious. If you two go there together, you can bet they'll make Paimon their primary target just to put us in an impossible position. Paimon wasn't that worried, but now she's petrified. What will you do without me? 
I'll be a complete mess, I'm sure. But only for a short time. Okay, well... Paimon needs to think about this because... You're really asking a lot of her, but... We'll give Paimon some time and she'll do her best to rise to the challenge. I greatly appreciate it. Everyone in Natland knows how important this final battle is. You will be remembered and revered long into the future, until the end of time. If you have any other questions, please ask away. Alright, we do have an option to talk to her about things, and maybe too late. So let's go ahead and ask her our questions. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. Alright, so about the aftermath of the war... The work of rebuilding is underway, and people are flocking to join the effort. With everyone rallying together, I'm sure it won't be long before there's no trace left of the damage done by this war. The healing process, on the other hand, uh, that's a bigger obstacle to overcome. Many are grieving, and there's simply no replacing the ones we lost. As the sun rises once more, and we rediscover the ability to believe in the future, we must never forget their sacrifice. Alright, so about the false sky and the strange fragments, so we did notice the sky! False sky. I have heard this expression before, but I think this was the first proof of its existence. I think there's a lot of investigating to be done to understand what the fragments behind the sky are and why they were hidden in the first place. It's the fucking moon. Yeah, it's the fragments. However, from what the Adventurers Guild tells me, neither the split sky phenomenon nor the fragments have ever been observed in any other nation. Because the Heavenly Principles did so well to cover that up. <sighs> My guess is that the Heavenly Principles wants them kept a secret. I just hope they don't cause me any trouble over it. They will always do that. Oh, you should be fine. We did something much crazier back in Fontaine and we're still here. Yep. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Anyway, the line I'm going with for the masses is Astronomical Anomaly. And I don't expect much of a backlash. Meanwhile, we can look into it at our own pace. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. Alright, so about the six heroes of old. That wasn't their souls we saw, but a snapshot of them in time. All the work of the ancient name engravers 500 years ago, who made some special modifications to their names. Their souls returned to the Night Kingdom long ago, and will have been reborn in Natland since, albeit in a different form. For all we know, they may have already lived many new lives by now, and so... Even though we will never meet again, they will always be by our side in one way or another. I think that gives another layer of meaning to the phrase, no one fights alone. Alright, this is my last question. About the captain. We have a temporary alliance, but I can tell that saving Natlan is not his only goal. Yeah, Paimon still doesn't get why saving Natlan would be so important to him in the first place. Unless he's just a good guy who wants to avoid another Conria. Somehow Paimon doubts it's that simple. True enough. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much. Based on all the interactions we've had with him and knowing more about his background, I have a lot of respect for him. I don't think he has any ill intentions. <sighs> now, we should focus on the final battle. As I've said, if you have any other... Alright, skipping that, let's go ahead and leave the chamber. The Outlander with deep ties to this land returns. And this time, he is alone. Why are you here, man? The power that the Pyro Archon used to strike back at the Abyss came from the Ruler of Death. From what I know of her rules, she will demand death in return. How do you know this? Yeah. I see. So, the Ruler of Death sent you on your long journey. Natlan still has a final battle to fight. And I too, have a final foe who to is face. That? For the sake of those countless lost souls, and a hope for Natlan's future, I need your help. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So many freaking cliffhangers. There are so many cliffhangers here. Wait, what's this?
And that's it. That is the end of it. That's the good way to end that there. Oh my gosh. Rainbow destined to burn. Alright, I want to read this real quick. Re record penned by all. May the wild bring you peace. May songs be sung of your life's journey. What follows is a list of names of the deceased, dense as a forest, written by those who mourn them. You see a familiar name on it. Waita, Fichama, Bats, Tilua, Wichi, Hunza. We give thanks for the gift of your life and ours, and we look forward to meeting you again in a world of wonder and beauty. Uh, so this is a memorial here. Alright, so I truly believe I, I really like this quest here. This was a peak quest here, and I felt like I couldn't stop here because I couldn't find a spot to stop halfway. I mean, I'll just go all out on this, and this was the other half, and I'm sorry about that, guys, if it's a long video, but still, we have lot, we have learned a lot from this thing. We've learned that she got her power from the ruler of death on the angel side, maybe, then the captain has his own, still has his own um, mission to do here, and I'm not sure what that is. We suffered a lot in this thing. We've experienced war in this game, meaning what choices we have to make in this quest definitely has consequences, and there is no walkthrough for that. You pick, you choose, and you see the results, and the fight was spectacular. The animations and the cinematic was so damn spectacular, especially with Monica fighting that abyssal thing, and punching a fucking hole in the sky taste on the cake. That is the icing on the cake right there. Chef's kiss. And confirms the theory that the sky in the game, the world in Tavat in this game, is fake. Why though? Why is it fake? What is the reason for the Heavenly Principles to cover up the sky? Who knows? And what is the secret behind it? So, just this morning before uh, starting this video, I saw the, the live stream program of uh, Genshin's new version, and I believe that's when Chaska will become a character in a banner, and so it will Auron. And I do believe we will get the Flower Feather Clan and the Masters of Nightwind Villages, meaning we will f uh, get their areas. Not sure about the Collectors of Plenty. I do hope the Collectors of Plenty, Collectors of Plenty, will be there as well, because I can't wait. And seeing a whole new gameplay, maybe. New Saurians to tame? Definitely. And I am glad that Toto, our long neck dinosaur friend, is alive and I'm so happy. I am very happy. I'm not sure where I can find him again. But I was excited. I felt sad. It's emotional. And of course, it's war. It never changes. From the quote of Fallout. If you like Fallout. Also, I do plan on have some plans on live streaming Fallout 76 maybe or Fallout 3 I don't know I, it's gonna be a foreseeable plan in the future in my time if, as a gamer a casual gamer as a youtuber or maybe even a streamer I'm not sure so I would love to have your support with this one so I want to say thank you all for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed this video if you didn't enjoy this video please Please give this video a like or dislike. Any comments about how you feel about my choices. Should the choices you make in this quest be any different? Would it matter? Because there is always going to be a consequence with choices that involves war. That involves soldiers fighting. It's, I don't know. And would it be too slow? Would you be too late to save anyone? But there is a quote. If you choose one one little hot spot, the other one will disappear, meaning that you will not save everyone. That's the lesson here, I believe, that I found out the hard way. And you will see the results. And <clears throat> I'm still a little emotional about that. My voice is cracking a bit because, wow, I've been going at it for about a couple of hours. <laughs> so, yeah, this game, tr this quest was truly peak. And... I am, am amazed, and I cannot wait for the new story to come out as well, in the second version, 5.2. So, again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the new videos of these out. And I have an awesome, awesome month, awesome day.